Okay, we recently went to a trade show, and before everybody could do anything about it, I grabbed everybody's badge holders so I could do a video. I don't know how many people are going to be interested in this one, but badge holders are something that I end up using quite a few times each year. And since I have a few of them, and I was able to grab a couple extras for this video, um, I figured I'd go through some of the advantages and disadvantages to them, some of the, re some of the ones we've got, and why we like them. Um, the one I normally carry is my Eagle badge holder and these are available on their website. I think they're not too expensive. I mean it's obviously not a super elaborate item. Eagle does do the most elaborate badge holder out of the ones I've seen though. Um, it's almost a small admin pouch. First off you've got you know all made out of uh, what I'm gonna guess canvas or maybe a thousand dinner nylon so it's good stuff and uh, you know good sewing and everything. Pretty much tiny examples of their packs. Um, we've got one here from Expedition got another one here that I think was Sotec, but I forget now who made these for us. Then I've got one that I know is Sotec or Paladin, and then uh, I've got one from Spec Ops Gear. This one is really a wallet, but it can be used as a badge holder, so I'm counting in in the badge holder category. So um, going back, you know, what we use these for is when we get our credentials or our you know, name tags, let's say this was a name tag, it would just fit into this clear front section and allow you to wear this around your neck so that this just kind of hanging in your chest or your stomach there um, with your name exposed so everybody can see who you are, who you're affiliated with, etc. So um, something that comes in handy at trade shows, conventions, um, just large meetings, and I use them for other things, map reading, uh, geocaching, it's a small pocket that you can have that just ties around your neck instead of uh, you know your belt or over your shoulder. So um, taking a look, the most simple one we have here is just this simple one that is one of my favorites actually. It's got a nice clear, and this one's an actual clear. Some of these aren't all clear. This was a nice clear front, piece of Velcro, and then a pocket behind, which is large enough to keep a notepad or for us, we keep our business cards in there. And it's got a nice flap up front here, you know, for something like Millspec Monkeys patches or a flag or a name tag or whatever. So um, this one's pretty plain Jane and made out of multicam. Well made though. These were actually made for us at shot, uh, kind of while we waited, and we were happy to get them. So um, this one has a lot of room for a badge. Actually, you can put a couple of things in here. Another reason I like it, and just in case you thought I quit making droid videos, is I can put my droid into it with the camera on and walk around and now the, it'll take a poor quality picture but it will take a picture and I can walk around and there's nothing stopping me from putting that badge down in front so people don't necessarily notice that I'm walking around <laughs> with a camera on. Anyway, so just in case you thought there wasn't going to be a droid in this video. So this is the simple one. Then we've got the Maxpedition, which isn't much more complicated. Basically, what it it has the same features up front. A pocket, although there is a second pocket. So there's actually two pockets here, which is not a bad thing. It doesn't weigh anything, doesn't cost anything. But what it does, it gives you the ability to keep your business cards in one pocket and the business cards you collect in a second pocket or the, you know, however you want to organize it out. You've got your front section here, but again, this one isn't clear. This one is sort of an opaque, so pay attention to that barcode. Still visible, but it's not as, it's just not the same as in this one. And that makes a difference mostly when we go to some of these shows when they've got barcodes on the IDs and uh, they scan them. So sometimes these are harder to scan through. This one's pretty successful with scanners. Anyway, so you've got those same features inside. Now you've got a couple other features though. You've got this side pocket here for a pen or whatever you know, going in through the sides. You've got the front pocket with their uh, logo sewn on, but you can still put a flag or, like I say, one of the monkey patches. Then you've got a back section here. And again, it's got two sections. It's got this top clear section, where again, you could keep a business card or something, maybe your own stash of cards, but then you got another outside pocket. And you win a dollar if you uh, can figure out whose badge holder this is, since it has a small little plastic uh, push dagger in it. Anyway, this is a fairly nice one. Uh, 
again, American design made in Taiwan, but, you know, um, we've got a paracord with a um, adjustment point with a bead on it. That's a nice touch because then you don't accidentally lose your uh, adjustment thing. This one has the same adjustment on a 550. This one has gutted 550, so just the shell. This one's got the you know full 550 with the inner strands, but it's got a knot at the end. So same concept, so you don't lose your adjustment. And that's handy because if you don't want this thing, you know, on a female for sure, it matters where this rides. And then on guys, you know, sometimes I'm tall and if I let it ride too high, then people are looking up at it if it's too low. You know, so anyway, you, this adjustment just lets you decide, you know, on the back of your neck, uh, you know, how much, how, how high this is going to ride on your chest. I guess we'll jump over to these eagles. As I mentioned, they're the most elaborate. They're both the same. I think this one just has... Uh, uh, it's just one's a few years old now, so it's an OD like I mentioned. It's heavy duty. Uh, it's got this front. The difference on these though is they scallop there, so it's got this sort of curved shape here, and that's neat and everything. But on certain badges, depending on what show we're going to, sometimes you have to fold your badges or trim them because they just don't fit well. You know, obviously a square going into a circle. Um, you've got the same idea with the two uh, ways to organize stuff on the inside. The pat or the Velcro section on the outside uh, is off-centered, so you can see the Eagle logo. Then on the back, again, you have a pouch for uh, storing more stuff, and then they've got this sort of elastic section here for a pen. There's also these two pieces of 550 sewn up front, which I'm guessing would be to run another piece of 550 around your waist. So if you're using this in a different environment, maybe to go swimming or something to carry a wallet or as a travel wallet. And I use these a lot as travel wallets. I'll keep most of my money and my IDs and stuff in this. This way you can uh, have a secure around your neck and one going around your body. So these are pretty handy. Next up will be this one from Paladin again. And this one comes with their um, Mission Go Pack, the Paladin version, not the Sotek version. Uh, it's got a section in the back here for uh, cards. Then you've got um, two little holes here. I don't have a string attached to it, but if I put a 550 on here, this would make a handy badge holder. Um, you've got sort of a you know, secretary type of organizer thing going on here. Got just a whole bunch of pockets for cards and whatever um, wallet type stuff you might want to put in here. You've got a small zipper compartment here for coins or whatever. And then uh, the neat thing about this one is you can fold it in half and just kind of use it as a wallet or have it, as, like I say, as a badge holder or um, in the BDU pockets. Um, it can be a nice organizer. So this one's not quite a badge holder, but you can stretch it and call it a badge holder. And on the same vein, this one isn't really a, I guess it is a badge holder, but it's more than a badge holder. Again, it's got the two grommets here, so you can wrap uh, a, a 550. In this case, I, I used uh, shock cord. Um, this is the, sh the I think it's the large V wallet from Spec Ops. And uh, it's got this section up front here where you could put ID. I happen to have a bunch of business cards in it right now, and it can hold a ton. I have a lot of, a couple of different types of business cards. I have a big stack of business cards in there right now. Then you've got your, your ID and your wallet here. Um, not a big fan of having my ID kind of just shown right here. Um, every time I open the damn thing, everybody knows who I am. But I do like having the uh, the cards here. This is weird as it sounds. It's so nice being able to just reach in and grab the cards you need. Um, then I've got some store cards and things like that over here. I've got a zipper compartment that I don't use, and then you've got a large section here. I've been using it just to hold receipts because I have more receipts than money these days, but um, it's got this large zipper pocket here, which when we were traveling was really nice being able to keep you know things kind of out of private, out of eyes, and uh, just separated. So I got things like extra checks and some stamps in here that I just didn't need to access or worry about losing every time I opened my wallet. So it's a handy wallet. I thought it was huge, kind of doing a review on it, um, but it was actually pretty decent as a wallet. As a badge holder, um, I'd probably empty all my cards and stuff out of it, but I could see this being really handy. Um, definitely for organizing business cards instead of using it for credit cards here. I could organize business cards real well and uh, do some you know, fairly elaborate uh, 
uh, networking with a badge holder like this one. A little heavy though, obviously it's a little thick, it's a little heavy. This one weighs nothing, it's just a few layers of material. Like I say, for the other things I use it for, this is one of my favorites. I actually like all of these now. This one's not mine, this one's not mine, but um, these Eagle ones, I use them for shows all the time. I just picked this one up um, so that I basically have a replacement for this one. So. Uh, if you haven't explored badge holders, there's plenty of others out there. These are just a couple that I happen to have available for the review. Um, there's lots of them available. Almost every manufacturer makes one. Check them out.